What is going on everyone and in today's video we're going to be in my kitchen just doing a quick reshoot of the DX Racer Craft Series chair. The reason why we're reshooting it is because I shot it somewhere else and it was kind of ugly. So I decided to switch up the scenery a little bit. Basically the Craft Series chairs they just have a bunch of different designs. They're all $479 and in today's video we're going to be talking about if these chairs are worth that price. So number one, the Craft Series chairs, these are very similar to other DX Racer chairs, like as far as like just the overall chair design. I mean, honestly speaking, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that like the padding on the chair is like super plush or anything because it's really not, like it's, it's average at best, I would say. Like it's nothing that's gonna be super plush. It's very sturdy, so you're not really gonna be moving or anything, and it's very supportive. It's not gonna be a super plush chair if that's what you're looking for. What this chair is good for is supporting your posture, and it does have a pretty unique setting. You're actually able to use this little knob right here and adjust the lumbar. So you can spin this little thing. As you can see, the lumbar is going down. I'll put up a close-up video so you guys can actually see like the full range of the adjustment, but this is actually pretty nice. At first, I was pretty upset that there wasn't like a pillow that normally goes here for lumbar support, but actually having this adjustment does make the chair pretty comfortable in my eyes. So I can definitely sit down pretty comfortably. It's pretty much just about as adjustable as your average new car nowadays. Like most cars have adjustable lumbar support and this does feel extremely similar. So nothing really bad to say about the adjustable lumbar support, definitely more than adequate. Now you also have these wrist rests that are really adjustable. You can slide them side to side up and down of course and then also forward and back and they have like a tiny little bit of swivel not a ton but just a little bit of swivel like if you're moving your arm it'll move just a little bit but it's nothing that's gonna you know you're gonna spin it and it's gonna stay locked in whatever position like you can like i've seen on some other chairs even though that's not really a big deal to me because normally i use my wrist rest you know just straight up and down anyway so i don't really have any issues with the way that they're designed but it is nice to see all of the different adjustments now as far as the seat pan you do have some decent bolstering right here so this is just pretty average and standard on what i've seen on a lot of different gaming chairs like when i've seen like and seat and there was another like cheaper chair that I took a look at a while ago that had a very similar design and honestly speaking even some other chair designs that i've seen just from friends getting from micro center or amazon all most of these gaming chairs are very uh generic and the only thing that's not generic about this one is the adjustable lumbar and also the design which we'll talk about in a little bit here but this is going to be pretty standard nothing really too crazy going on would have been nice if they had an extra lumbar pillow as an option considering the price of this chair but since it's adjustable again it's not really the end of the world and you do also have this removable pillow up here and some more bolstering right here that's again pretty standard on most gaming chairs in my opinion this pillow right here is definitely a must it is uh not the best to use the chair if you're trying to lean all the way back because you really don't have any head support with using just this part right here but if you like to lean back a little bit more and you don't mind not having a pillow here then you know of course do you but uh, honestly i really like using the pillow myself i definitely wouldn't use a chair without it i do wish though that the pillow was a little bit slimmer that would be nice if they would have gave you a slightly slimmer pillow because it's also again not very plush like it's some pretty dense memory foam and i wish that it just was a little bit more plush so that it just felt a little nicer because you don't really need a ton of super stiff support up here for you know behind your head or your neck i would say because the rest of the chair is pretty stiff as far as adjustments you do have an adjustable piston that brings you all the way down all the way up and then also if you pull this latch here you can either have it set to where you can lean back quite a bit or you can also have it set so that you can just lock the chair in an upright position. So if you're mainly just using it for office work or gaming, you don't wanna accidentally lean super far back, then you can just lock this in position here. And then of course, if you want to recline the chair, you do have a pretty good range of motion as far as reclining. Obviously, if you unlock the position to go all the way back down as far as leaning and whatnot, then you can recline even further but honestly speaking if you're even if you're watching content i don't see any reason to lean like more beyond this but i'll show you guys what it looks like just in case even though every time it scares the crap out of me but now you see how far back you can lean if you really really want to now this chair is rated to support up to 250 pounds and it's said to only support somebody that's 5'7". I'm 5'11 and I am under 250 pounds and I do fit pretty comfortably. 
Um, I think the only reason though that it supports people up to 5'7 is because probably their head is gonna come right here, whereas mine is like my lower head and mostly just my neck is connecting to the pillow right here. So maybe it would be a little bit better if it was just like the top of my head that was connecting to this pillow. But again, I'm a little bit taller than what they would like people that uh, ideally are gonna be buying this chair as far as height wise. Now, with that being said, I also wish that there was a bigger version of this chair available that maybe would support people up to 300 or 350 pounds, but most importantly had a taller back that would raise this part of the pillow a little bit more to give them a little bit more head and neck support. The last thing that we're gonna talk about again is just the design. Like this chair has like this cream white color. Obviously you have this uh, little logo here with thinker there craft the series of the chair you got it on a pillow and then twice also on the chair in black on the front and orange on the back so that's pretty cool i suppose then you have a uh, another version of like the artwork that they put on the front of the chair very unique to say the least um yeah i'm not 100 sure who this is i'm sure i could google it but otherwise uh it's just a pretty cool looking chair cream white slash off white and then you got these little accents over here on the side i just think it looks pretty cool for 480 dollars basically would i opt to go with one of these or would i go with something else um i would like to see a claw version of this because i live in michigan and right now even though michigan generally is pretty cold and i complain all the time about it being cold it's the summertime right now and it's really hot like it's really really hot and if you're sitting in this thing for some hours with like the faux leather that it's made of it's called pu leather you might be a little little hot little sweaty so with that being said i would also like to see some cloth versions of these craft gaming chairs come out at some point i would definitely think that those would be another really good option to have especially for the amount of money i like to have some options leather obviously is great if you live in a colder climate and obviously during the winter time as well but cloth definitely shines during the hotter months and whatnot so i definitely wouldn't mind if there was a cloth version available that had a very similar design now if it's cloth would i still go with like this off-white color Probably not. I feel like that would be really hard to clean. I'd probably go with something like a gray or a blue or something like that. But otherwise, pretty much the only complaint that I can really come up with, other than the fact that uh, the overall design of the chair looks very similar to other gaming chairs that I've seen in the past. But as far as the artwork that they put on the chair, I do think that it looks really good and all that stuff. So uh, kudos to them for putting up some cool and different artwork and different color themes together on these craft series of chairs. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the channel as well. I will be having some more chair reviews uh, eventually in the future. So definitely let me know um, how you guys like this format of doing a chair review. Just super quick, raw thoughts of how I felt about using the chair over the past couple of months. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching again. I will see you in the next video.